Hey, what's up everyone? It's David here. So, most Sky customers who have SkyQ are familiar with this page here. It looks like you do not have internet connection right now. If you're already set up, we're, try to, we're trying to connect. If you have changed your internet password or router, you'll need to reconnect your network. Go to settings and check your network connection status to reset. So this affects five out of 10 SkyQ customers. And the reason why this is, is because for some reason, the SkyQs and the SkyQ minis can't communicate all the time with third party routers and wireless access points. And I don't know what the reason why this is. It just seems like they just want Sky Q customers and Sky customers just basically to subscribe to their broadband because it, this will not come up if you've got Sky broadband with the Sky Q hub because the technology and the wireless technology, all of the Sky Qs, uh, Sky Q and the Sky Q minis, all act as repeaters around the house. So that's what they primarily want to do. So no matter how many times you try, eventually you can fix it, but it will come back up and bite you. And it's really annoying if you want to watch Netflix or uh, Paramount Plus or Disney Plus off of the Sky Q because you're going to keep getting this message. As well as it affects your Sky Cinema on demand or any of the catch up services. Obviously, you can still access your recordings. But, you know, so the only real way to solve this is either to switch broadband providers. I'm with BT, so I like to keep them separate, to be honest. And the fact that at the time, BT were providing the best services, you know, basically speed wise. So I've got BT 900 now and um, Sky in the area wasn't offering that or they weren't like geared up for that. But I think they are now, but. At the moment, I'm still in contract, so I wouldn't be swapping it. But anyway, so in order to solve this, you can just keep resetting your settings on the um, the Sky Q and reconnect. But that's very time consuming, and eventually you get annoyed and well, you get bored and annoyed and frustrated. So there's two options: either you hardwire cables to all your SkyQ and SkyQ minis or you buy a power line and plug it in that way and then you're guaranteed it's going to work but I've got network jacks throughout the whole house so I'm covered with that so I'm going to show you now I'm going to plug my ethernet into the back of the SkyQ the master and you should be seeing it working go the network connection has been ticked and there we are so we've got the home screen now because this is all provided by the internet all of this is not provided by the satellite feed and then you've got your apps your games And all of this is provided by the internet. The whole shabam. That's all online services. So basically, without internet function, the uh, SkyQ is mainly just a uh, receiver. It can't um, 
a recorder. It can't do anything else, as you know, because obviously on demand services are provided by the internet. But li that was literally me just plugging in a Ethernet cable into the back, and it works. But if I relied on Wi-Fi, this no matter how many times I reset it, it would still keep coming back to that, which is the main issue. So it's a real tip. If you've got a Sky Q and you want to use Wi-Fi, you have to be with Sky Broadband uh, for, for it to work. They, they've just deliberately done that and it's something that they can fix, but will they fix? Probably not. But they obviously offer incentives if you have your broadband under all one roof. So. Well that concludes the video, I uh, hope you found this useful and informative and if you like it, if you could hit that thumbs up, that helped me out a lot and uh, like always, don't forget to subscribe and see you out there.